Hello guys, my name is Sunny Hillary and today we are doing a bit of Heart of Iron 4. Of course, we're gonna do the tutorial of the game and show why Heart of Iron 4 tutorial sucks. If even Paradox need to do like a live stream about teaching new players how the game plays. This tutorial is the best at it. Now we're gonna try it and judge it like we did at the TF2 one. So, 15 pages, one each one. You will welcome to the Heart of Iron for today. We'll be taking charge of Italy during the period leading up to the world. Asha, reading the two tool tips will help you to understand things as you play, so it is a kind of make good use of them. Select units in profits. Move units. Zoom in and out. Work camera. Okay, start by dealing with the alerts at the top of the screen. 0.90 meter effect is iron years. 920 civil effects iron years. 011 naval dock as iron years. The focus is set. The division is screened for deployment. The 40 knowledge just is such. Hint. Voice and this is where you can access things like your country, national focus, ideas, and lots and more. Political power represents your country base to reach its political cause. Hiring advice to just find claims or getting independence. Like some of you that you can political power. I will provide you country with bonuses in different areas, but they are also cost with power tech. The first problem is hood like a new player. You just open the tutorial. And the tutorial. Like I did when I started in 2019 in 2009 to play the game. I couldn't pass this part. It's true. I couldn't bloody pass the first part of the tutorial. And think about it I'm looking. How could I pass that? But now, well, gonna, I'm gonna tell you why I didn't know. In the first place, I didn't know what are military factories and civilian factories. It was something new. Then I learned, wait, later in time, that I can go to constructions. In constructions, press this. And start building. No! These are military. Then I press on civilian. And then start building. Oh wait, no. Yeah, I already got the wrong the tutorial. I meant when you go to production, yes, I know, I can do this, this, and I use all my effect, the military effect. Okay, 0 out of 11 naval dockyards in here. Who would ever know? I, you know, they do something better than TF2, I have to admit it. At least they tell you what's the idea, but you still don't know what are these buttons down there. So I now press. Mission. Oh. Ah, yeah, we need the focus, so we're gonna go for here. Yeah. This, a division is good for deployment. That, we need some researches going.
Yeah, I'm just pressing just to finish. Now we just need the naval docker. Done. No. Good. Now that the alerts are sorted out, we can start if diving into the details of waging war. I never got to this part when I initially played the tutorial. Italy starts at war with Ethiopia and you should not have much difficulty in winning that war once you learn how to do it. Move your camera in the southeast towards the direction until you find Eritrea in Africa. Once your camera location has changed, set the division in the Eritrea. At least they show your line, I need to admit. And show here, here, idiot. Great, now we learn how to start playing an offensive. Division can join together in armies. An army is used to draw battle plans and they can be assigned to a commander to lead them. Click the new iron button at the bottom of the screen. Here's a new player. It, this is not such a hard thing because a new player will just realize immediately that if you press this button it doesn't happen anyway. If you press this you do something. Good, creating an army was the first step. An army can be given orders by doing battle plans. Click the front line buttons and then click to order it here. In the first place, they don't even tell you you can put the leader which will give you bonuses. Which isn't. In the second place, at least they are showing you the pattern. At how should a player know? Do I do the left click? Do I press spacebar? Well, they say, but I'm telling you, some people are impatient. Just you press the right click. You have now created no fancy or to take the AP of your capital. Before you go ahead and give the order to execute the plan, maybe wise to make the correct preparation. If you allow your race to prepare for 15 days, they will receive a combat bonus to up to 30% certain land of you can modify how long you can prepare while just by modifying offense you can reach your maximum level of preparation. Also advisable that you prepare your air forces and click the air base in every track. Yes. Good in order for your troops to have a high guarantee of sight and better, it's almost important to give them the proper air support they might require. Air wings assigned to one region can be uh, sent on mission support. Air wings can be sent on the close air support mission which will enable them to join an air combat engagement. Assign the air wings based in the Eritrean air base by actually in the East African air region and give them orders once they are assigned. Nice and all, how should a new player know how to give them order? I didn't want to do that, I did totally by accident. But I mean, a new player would never know would he press one of these buttons. Press right click. And how should he know what region is what? How should he know Arabia exists? It doesn't matter. Good, you ha now have a assigned to uh, the East Africa. Airage. And before they start doing anything, however, you must first give your airways mission. If an air wing does not have an active mission, it will stay in the, in the area. Number of different airways and the emission of air wings can be sent on depends on the, the type of the air wing. Support air wings can be sent on the close air support mission, which enables them to join land communication and attack your air. In the air wing on a mission, click the mission icon in the air interface. interface. No. Watch the player know he needs to press this one. In, in my opinion, that's another design flaw. Good. Now, with almost everything set up, it is time to look at executing the battle plan and conquer Ethiopia and it Ethiopia and Italy, I'm Italy. Ethiopia for Italy. Click the info memo button in the bottom right and then select your eye by clicking the portrait at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Battle plan has been executed. 
Your force will now begin the offense on Addis Ababa. Addis, Ab Addis Ababa. At your best, Captain. When you've occupied enough of your enemy territory, they will surrender. And pause the game by pressing space. Adjust the game speed by pressing plus or minus. Yeah, yeah. So false. Okay, a player would initially go for the keyboard plus or minus button and just press them. Pam 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 pam. Seeing it doesn't work anything, it's gonna be why does it work? I press it like a crazy man here. And then they will realize like, there's a plus and minus button up there. That will uh, digress. It's so normal that players of the adjust the game speed are going to their needs and as opposed to play on the same speed at the time. Hint, if you feel you could control your age better, select the division and right click since the manual of the right order and you need to go from battle plans. Aim is unpost, it will press has you guys are gonna join this army. You're gonna go here. You're gonna go here. And you're gonna do this. Now we wait. I usually wouldn't do this uh, part because this is the tutorial. Welcome to the army. Wait. Nice job. After your line, you are going right. You are not going through the Suez Canal. You are going right through the Sinai Peninsula, through that land map. There, called the Sinai Peninsula, which is only Asian part in the only part of Egypt which is in Asia. I need to focus this. Wait, I have to. Okay. This is the worst game, and through it, you will be able to engage in the players with other cards. Okay. Nice job. I'm doing the uh, tutorial here and checking. I never know there was a region called Kita there. And you know, I never. Stay to read any of this. Onega. I usually conquer them without knowing their name. Oh my god, I'm such a disappointment. I never knew their names. And so is Soviet. I mean, I know some countries, for example, Romania. Which. Southern Bessarabia, Moldova, Bessarabia, Bessarabia, Bukovina, Moldova, Muntenia, uh, South of Russia, Bruj, I'm sorry, Oldenia, uh, Banat, Krishana, North Transylvania, and Transylvania. Wow, I'm so messed How is my world going? They're struggling. Good, I didn't want this world to be fast. You... No. Okay, go up there. Go and take this man. No, don't attack. Attack when they are not yet ready to protect. And that's the south of this camp. Yeah, 
Gracias. Yeah, close to the capital. The conquer most of the country. It's and most of the countries are under our rule. Damn. Nobody's protecting us uh, somewhere. Uh, attack the capital. Who cares? Like most countries in the game, you need to just to take the capital and then they are dead. I say most countries, meaning Ethiopia and France. The rest fight. Yeah, I need to admit it. They don't die when you take the capital. But there are France and Ethiopia which just love surrendering. And Luxembourg. Ah, Luxembourg is this. So there's no. I am sure Luxembourg is Luxembourg. I might be wrong, but I think it's like that. Not how they pronounce. Again, I might be totally wrong. I'm not saying I might not be, but I'm sure it's B O U R G. No, 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 no. Because it follows the same pattern as Mill House, no strat. Damn! I thought it was like Hamburg, and then I realized, wait, it's Luxembourg. Then I fought and went to Strasbourg, and there'll be ORG. So, if I'm wrong, tell me in the comments how do you spell Luxembourg? Okay, Luxembourg, how they spell it, or how I think Luxembourg. Ethiopia has said you have one, you can now make demands during the peace conference. We recommend that you choose to take all states. For new players, the recommendation is bad. Mostly because these DLCs were made before any DLC. Oh god, I said something stupid. All DLCs. I meant the toy was made before DLCs even existed so the statement is kind of bad because now if you are next all with this nice stance DLC uh, that is how they are called resistance to occupation thing which can really destroy in the long run if the country doesn't react yeah. so this this DLC really got a little bit of strategy because you now really need to think if you're gonna puppet the country or just the next the best is to annex it only if it's a very important territory of a country. Only if it's you are playing at Germany and you live in Leash and you want to annex Leash just to be part of Germany. <laughs> Either way. Each demand you make will increase war tension by a certain amount. The higher war tension is the closer you are to a world war. That's actually true, because if the tension is over 25%, no, if it's 25%, it's like barely only some countries can join faction. If 50%, um, like three quarters of the world can join faction. If it's over 75%, everybody can join a faction, no matter what. Some countries have certain diplomatic actions locked until world tension is high enough. Uh, like Romania, for example, you cannot get King Michael the first until the world tension is 25%. percent Venus. Uh -huh. Alright, so Ethiopia is not the Italian East. Africa. I love how they are called Italianist. <laughs> you see, these are tension points. Oppression points. 
occupied territory points. I don't know how they are called. Alright, I stay at the port of Eritrea. Welcome to the port of Eritrea. Who is first to get there gets a prize. Ethiopia isn't such a big country, can I be worried? I mean, if you think of real life, yeah, it's gonna be hard. Three out of four divisions, I just need one more, please, girl. Okay. To transfer troops between two friendly territories, your troops must first be standing in a port. Say to you stay in the port and right click another port in Italy. Alright, so I right click. You have now completed the guided part of the tour. Continue playing as city if you wish. For the entire playthrough if you want yourself having the bigger. The help button is to the right. Will allow you to access the fact. FAQ at any time. So done. This is the tutorial. In my opinion, this tutorial is much better than the TF2 tutorial. Way, 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 way better. The TF2 tutorial was a joke to the game. This tutorial is teaches the player about stuff. It's not an excellent tutorial. I wouldn't recommend you, most probably because you're gonna get stuck at the first part and never finish it. I recommend you to look at YouTube tutorial. That's why I'm gonna do a tutorial of my own about Hearts of Iron 4. To teach new players how to play the game. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.